Hot today across the valley in the 90s just about everywhere except for right along the coast for a while this afternoon. It's cooled back in the lower valley where they are starting to come off the water, but it, it was in the 90s in Harlingen, Raymondville and even Brownsville earlier today. Still 92 right now in Wesco, even 98 in Rio Grande City and temperatures probably going to be this hot or hotter in some areas tomorrow. Humidity has been down it, but it's on its way up. Dew points on average are in the 40s, which is still pretty dry, but some areas are already bumping up a little higher than that and will likely be pretty humid uh, at times tomorrow and even uh, maybe a little more so later tonight in areas along the coast. So the humidity is on its way back. You can kind of see where the dew points are back in the 50s. It's still pretty low overall, but it's on its way up and will keep climbing this evening. So from east to west across the valley, the humidity starts to roll in. So maybe kind of muggy when you wake up tomorrow morning, probably in the mid to upper 60s, not super humid, but not as cool as it was this morning. So 60s in the morning, maybe a few patches of clouds. Most of tomorrow looks sunny and temperatures well into the 80s at lunchtime. Average high of about 95 in the afternoon, but most of the afternoon spent in the, in the 90s. The humidity will probably be up tomorrow, but it may kind of drop a little in the upper valley where the winds may switch and come in more for the west or from the west and around McAllen off to the west in the Star County. So it could be a little drop in the humidity, but overall not as comfortable as it was this morning or this afternoon. So a hot day coming tomorrow, but we do have some hope with a cold front very soon. Highs tomorrow could reach to about 100 in Star County around Rio Grande City, even around 95 in Wesleco, 94 in Harlingen, 90 in Brownsville tomorrow and 80s right along the coast. You can see nothing on the satellite radar. We did have those thunderstorms that flared up yesterday evening. You can watch the loop right there. Just briefly, they fired up over Cameron and Wilsey counties and then moved off to the east, even a couple of little thunderstorms and showers farther off to the west. But uh, we'll track on some of the storm reports for you next half hour. All clear across Texas this afternoon. And we look at future track here. We have clear skies most of tonight. At midnight, we're still clear. We might see a few patches of clouds and near sunrise and spots if the humidity gets high enough, but mainly sunshine all day tomorrow. Temperatures back in the 90s and maybe a little breezy at times near the coast. By tomorrow evening, it's uh, still kind of humid out there. But then Wednesday is the day when a cold front comes in. Front's doing here right around sunrise. And then there's almost no chance for rain with this front. There might be a sprinkle, but with this front passing through, it gets breezy, cooler, less humid, and a lot of sunshine for Wednesday afternoon. But temperatures, instead of being like 95, maybe closer to about 83 or 85 or so Wednesday afternoon and then we'll cool off Wednesday night. Could get into the 50s on Thursday morning and then notice how this map's clear. Another sunny day on Thursday and should be uh, still fairly cool. I mean, you know, not cool, cool, but highs still mostly in the 80s on Thursday. But the winds can pick up a bit on Wednesday. If you look at the winds tomorrow, they're not too strong. Maybe a little breeze at the coast at times, but then you see all the colors come in here on Wednesday from the north and northwest. Probably a good wind around 20 miles per hour and some gusts maybe around 35 miles per hour most of the day and then the winds die off Wednesday evening and stay calm for a couple days. Highs tomorrow, 95, should stay below the record highs, which are closer to 100, but well above the average. Then we're back down close to average on Wednesday and then maybe a degree or two below average by Thursday. So tonight, clear skies around pretty much all night, but there might be a few patches of clouds late tonight and lows near 66, which is you know, five or eight degrees or so warmer than last night, but humidity creeping its way back up. And then tomorrow, a hot day, lots of sunshine, an average high near 95, but you saw the numbers. They range from 80s along the coast to about 100 in Star County, but most of the valley from about Brownsville to the west has a chance to be up in the 90s. So the first 1570 forecast, you know, keep in mind the average high is about 84, so we'll be near or above that most days, but check it out. We do have some cooler weather. I mean, highs around 84 on Wednesday, 82 on Thursday and 85 on Friday with cooler nights, and then the heat comes back in time for the weekend, but it looks like dry weather will continue the next seven days. We'll keep tracking the changes in your first 1-5 forecast ahead.